Today I'm making a video about you, so you're probably going to want to watch this. I see your potential. I see you. I see what you're capable of. And it's a million times brighter and better and more amazing than you could ever imagine. But you hold yourself back. You probably hold yourself back a lot. You have the same 24 hours in the day as the billionaires of this world. You have the same 24 hours in the day <laughs> as somebody who has an incredible body and is just killing it athletically. You've got the same 24 hours of the day as somebody who's madly in love with a partner that's madly in love with them back. You have the same 24 hours in the day as somebody who's living your dream life and has your dream job. What's the difference? The difference is where these people are spending their energy. These people are spending their energy on progressing themselves, on moving forward, on taking steps to be better, to go to the next level. What I've been seeing a lot lately, which is one of the main reasons why I decided to make this video, I've been seeing stuff on social media, a lot of like memes and things like that, of people talking about going into work, how they feel going into work, how they feel waking up in the morning, how they feel after a long weekend of partying. You know, I just watched this one recently of a girl, and she was like, how I feel before I go into work. And she goes through these, like, ten different emotions of just, like, she's crying, and she's going to get out of the car, but she comes back, and she starts to stress out. And it was really funny because I've been there. You know, I've, I've had that, that feeling myself, so it was a good thing to laugh about. But I realized that what she was spending her time and energy doing and what we're doing by sharing videos like that or um, finding other people to sympathize with us on the things that aren't working for us is we're perpetuating the problem. So we're keeping it going, we're keeping the cycle going because it's probably a cycle that you've had for a lot of your life. And this applies to everything. So whether you're trying to have more money, you're trying to have a dream relationship, a dream life, a better body, um, better job, no matter what it is, <laughs> this is going to apply for you. So this is a very broad concept that we can, you know, dive into and pull apart in many different ways. But what's really going on here is that you're spending your energy on things that perpetuate what's not working for you. So the second you find somebody to sit down with and have coffee or food with that you can tell about all your problems in hopes that they're going to say, oh, my gosh, that's terrible, or that's happened to me, or I'm so sorry for you, you cut yourself off from having what you want. You're not trying to perpetuate the problem. You don't want to keep it alive. You keep it alive by talking about it and saying that it happened because of something else or blaming it on someone else or some other circumstance outside yourself. There is no other circumstance outside yourself. When you realize that you control your thoughts, you control your mind. So mid-video, I got a FaceTime call right there. But what we're talking about is how perpetuating a situation that's not going well for us, talking about it with other people, blaming it on someone else, not taking responsibility for it, um, not saying, hey, I'm just going to change my own world. I'm just going to move forward and be my best and change everything because I know I have the power to change it. By not doing that, you are keeping yourself where you are. So this is something that I have really, really studied for the last five years of my life. Like, what do successful people do? Why are they so successful? It's fascinating to me, but it all boils down to the same thing. Like, it's not rocket science. It's not some amazing thing that these people have that other people don't. It really boils down to the fact that they will spend their time differently than the people who are getting the results that they want. And how that is, those specifics of how they spend their time, that's another video. Or that's a coaching session with me. But the specifics are what change you. That's what moves you to the next level. You have to just commit to moving forward instead of talking about it. You know, we're human beings, so we thrive and we connect through hearing each other's stories that we can relate to. But what if we just related to everybody's stories that were moving forward, that were positive, that were good. And I'm not saying never be negative because there's definitely a time and a place to move through your emotions that aren't strong, but 
you got to learn to not dwell on those things. You can't, you can't hang in that space of, of this is not working for me and it's never going to work. And here's why. And these are the reasons. As soon as you cut those reasons out, throw them out the window and realize that you have the ability to change your life right here, right now. And that you have every, every opportunity in the world. Then you can start having what you want, which is fun. And I get to talk about this because it's something that I've spent five years practicing and doing myself. And I've seen so many things happen that are amazing. And then I have other areas that I'm not as good in. And I practice them more and more. And then they come up to speed with the rest of us. It's just, it's fun to play around with and, and to try out. And I just want to empower you to do that. Like, I want you to also be doing this with your life because this is something that you will do the rest of your life. And if you don't start now, then you're going to be behind the game. And I want to make sure that you're caught up because I care about you. I care about you moving forward. I care about you being your best and you achieving the things that you want. Like, I don't want you to stay stuck in a place that's frustrating to you and feels uncomfortable, like you just need more, like you're not financially secure or you're not secure with your body or you're not secure with your relationships or whatever it is. Those feelings aren't fun. Um, and once you start realizing that you have the power, you have the keys, there's no special thing that other people have that makes them succeed except how they use their mind. You know, it's, it's how they power this thing is how they power the lifestyle. And you can live the same lifestyle that you're living right now for the rest of your life. If you're really happy with it, then that'd be a great thing. But if for some reason you're not happy with where you are right now, which I can assume that you are because the majority of people are, then stop right where you are and change your course. Stop going along this path when this is the right one. And stop playing around with giving into your problems, blaming, um, anything that just takes you out of that zone. So I don't want this video to get any longer, but I just thought that was a super important topic that you need to know about. Again, this one's for you. So I hope you liked it, I hope you enjoy it. And uh, if you wanna learn more about these ideas, uh, you can find me on stephendel.com and anywhere on social media. So have a great day and change your path right now. Like whatever you're doing, take steps forward to grow in the field that you want to be better at. All right. Love you. Bye.